Hey, don't hear him. Okay, uh, that, that little thing there that you can't see too well is my one of my cuisine or coffee makers. And, uh, was that, is that good? I was looking at my audio cables, so I'm using lapel mics, trying to get better sound on this thing. <clears throat> and, uh, so I'm wired for sound, wired for power, so that the battery won't go down. So here's the bottom of it already taken off. That's what it looks like on the inside. And that's the bottom of them, if you've seen, you've probably seen that before. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the box for the new one that's in the house. And, uh, this is the third one of these. This one is, the, you can see the glass carafe on the box. Well, this one came with the stainless carafe but, and no heater, uh, you know, to keep the coffee warm. I like that much better because it doesn't burn it. I'm using a, one, I have two, uh, one glass carafe and two stainless, and I'm using one of the stainless in this one now. And, uh, but it's, uh, it comes out so hot it scalds you. I got to leave the lid off for five, five to ten minutes before I can drink it, and I'm always burning my tongue. And uh, when I use the other one over there, it's in the house, like I said. Uh, the reason I got this like this is because I wanted to show what it was I replaced. And now I'm kind of thinking I probably need the tripod sitting on its legs. So let's do that. I think that'll be better. So... Uh, And I've already, it, I didn't even think about video and really I was hadn't planned. I got out of here to get the the grinder on the new one. The grinders were a hole in it. I thought, well, I got a good grinder and one that don't work. And I kept this one because I knew it could be fixed. Anyway, it's been several two or three years now, and finally I, I already had bought these are if you can see that that is a uh, thermal thermal fuse. And what happens is it will. If it gets too hot, it doesn't blow by amperage necessarily. It might, but now I don't believe they do. They blow by, uh, but they'll blow by overheating. And so uh, this one had gone bad. And this is another one that's okay, but it's a little bit, it's a different part number. And the ones I have, I've got 10 of them. And they're, um, actually bought them for my uh, brawn ceiling uh, bathroom exhaust and heater, you know, and the, it had blown in uh, a couple of those. I couldn't find them at first, uh, you know, worth buying. They're too expensive, but I found a place to get 10 of them for not too much. I don't remember now, bought them years ago. But anyway, this is 100 degrees hotter, higher temperature than the one that came out. But uh, I think that'll be okay as long as I watch it, but, you know, see how it's... Uh, Everything seems fine, you know. So anyway, uh, I was looking online. It's been a long time since I did any studying on it, but I was looking online how people say to replace them and stuff. But think, see this uh, this fuse that I put in is 333 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, where's them? Oh, they're inside. Uh, they're rated in C, you know, centigrade or Celsius, whichever one they mean. <clears throat> but uh, I think it's centigrade, but uh, they uh, anyway. If you go, if you solder a lot of most of the solder that you use, like electronic solder that I have, is could possibly melt before this thing blows. So then, if you have your connectors just fall loose, you still got this one side of the one side is connected to your 110 volt in input straight to it with these. Uh, Look, they're, they're crimp. They're like wire nuts, but they're crimp connectors. And uh, so uh, it's this one here. Yeah, it goes to. Can't see anymore. I put the. I had it loose so I could get to it and test everything. And now I got a zip tie on it again. And I thought I'd. You know, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Uh, didn't even think about filming it at the beginning. But I thought, well, I've got several videos on these things. I thought this is the one that I really would like to make. So at least show what I did. And that, uh, this is heat, heat wrapped wiring. It can stand all that heat. And it's a little scorched. 
So it's been getting hot. And I don't even see it in here. There's a, there's a circuit board down there. But I did watch a couple of videos. I went in to eat lunch here a while ago, an hour or two ago. So I watched a couple of videos that I hadn't seen before. And, uh, you know, people, somebody was saying, I thought I remembered seeing somebody repair them by just, they have long tails on them and, and they're easy to bend and just by wrapping it around the connectors. Because, see, these are spot welded. And unless you've got a spot welder and know how to use it, then you can't spot weld them, you know. So what I tried, I, I fiddled around for all, ever since this morning until, well, after I ate lunch, it was 3.30. So uh, trying to get some, I wanted to use copper connectors, not the aluminum ones. But uh, I have a bunch of them, you know, but for car stuff mostly, you know. Well, I mean, they use them in regular electronics. But anyway, I thought, well, heck, it gets, I didn't, I was afraid it might even try to melt that aluminum connector, you know. So anyway, I got, the, this is not aluminum, though. It's uh, soft soft steel but uh, so I found one that was little on one end and bigger on the other and so it it stays taut it's not going to fall off or anything and uh, all right, I've, I've messed, I tried with two others and well I, the, my tail broke I had it all hooked up to one end and with me moving it around so much it broke so they will break pretty easy but I still had enough left uh, to get it crimped in here so I've got it crimped on, uh, and also if you use a soldering iron and you don't have one that, it, like me, mine are not very hot. They're old and not very hot. So by the time it got that in, heated up the whole thing and heat up, and it's liable to blow that fuse. Because I, I don't know the exact heat of my uh, soldering irons. I know one of them's hardly hot enough to melt this electronic solder. I have to get the low. You know, you get if I remember right, a lot of solder is uh, melts at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So. For electronics, so uh, I have some for pipe sweating, but uh, you know you need a torch to melt that. I, mean, I can't put a torch in here on this uh, with all this plastic. So uh, that's what I did, and I'm going to test it now. <clears throat> so I think I'll want to take it. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can't walk. I was fixing to take off. I'm used to having wireless sound on my lapels and my cameras, my streaming over the uh, Wi-Fi. I'm used to being able to walk around, but I can't do that out here. The Wi-Fi drops out out here, so uh, I've got to carry the camera with me. That's what I have to do. So let's see. Yeah, see here. I'm dragging the whole world with me. So. uh I can get this without. I'm going to leave the bottom off while I test it. There's nothing inside of it, but it's it's not super heavy, but it's hard to get a hold of. There we go. Okay. Uh, I, just, I'm, I decided to bring it in here to test it. Yeah. Of course, my cable caught up. My power cable. So let's get it and bring it with us. It's not, I've got it secured as good as I thought if I could without spending forever. Sometimes I used to make videos out here quite a bit with my phones and do this. And sometimes my uh, 